Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second food design webinar. Uh, the title of this webinar is Between Art and Food. I am Dr. Francesca Zampolo, and I am the founder of the online school of food design, which is hosting this series of live food design webinars. So welcome to those of you who are live. Uh, hear myself twice. What's happening? Sorry. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Let me go back. Sorry. Technical issues. Okay. Um, welcome to those of you who are live to this webinar. Uh, you find underneath the uh, square where you are seeing me talking right now a chat room. So please go in there, introduce yourself, let us know who you are, where you're from, what you like about food design and anything as you want. Um, just one second. Mirva, right, <laughs> and um, and yeah, so let us know where you're from, most importantly where you're from, maybe what time it is over there where you are, and, uh, and start uh, and let us know what you like about food design. So, second food design webinar between art and food. My esteemed guest today is Jean-Paul Gannet, artist Jean-Paul Gannet. I am so pleased to have him with us today. He's going to talk about some wonder wonderful, wonderful things which I think the entire food design world should be aware of. I am very excited. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Oh, before I do that, sorry. Uh, I also want to welcome those of you who are listen listening to this as a podcast welcome guys and remember that if you want to view and be present in the live webinar just visit the online school of design.org and sign up for the webinar so you will be able to catch up with us live on the next webinar and you're also able to see the replays so to all of you who are watching live also right now uh, remember that you're able to watch the replays just in the same web page where you are right now Okay, welcome to my esteemed guest. I'm so pleased to have you, Jean-Paul Gannet. Uh, let it, 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 I give you the stage, go. <laughs> Bonjour, Francesca. Hello, hello, everybody. So, we, I, I'm an artist working with plants in the big scales. So, it depends on the, of the landscape. So, it, sometimes I work with farmers. Sometimes I work in abandoned spaces. Sometimes I have the... the this the luck to to make project like the Singapore project with a, a chef, so it's a bit different. So you know, it's, I'm open open about uh, landscape and uh, my my uh, my uh, like uh, skills are plants, more or less. Excellent. Thank you so much. It's going to be. A lot of fun. I have so many questions already that I want to ask you. The Singapton project is just spectacular. I can't wait for you to show us. Um, there is a trailer for you guys. A documentary has been made about this project, if I'm correct, Jean-Paul, uh, correct, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and I have put the trailer at the bottom of the page where you're watching this webinar right now. Um, a spectacular project, I can't wait to see, to talk about it. Uh, but just to, I wanna go back to the chat room and see if anybody is letting us know where they are from. Where are you guys from? Let us know. Um, what you are expecting from this webinar, um, what you would like to talk about. Um, I'm very interested in this webinar today because I think it's a great opportunity to talk about the probably the boundaries, the, the limits between art and design and where food lies in between. So I'm really looking forward. PhD student from England, Robert. Welcome, Robert. And everybody else maybe is a bit shy yet. <laughs> so I would say, welcome, Robert. Uh, so I would say, um, Jean-Paul, I, um, I have talked too much. It's time for you to really let us know everything about you, your work, and the Singapore project. OK. Go for it. Nice. OK, so more or less, you know, I, will, I, I can't speak about the Singapore projects without speaking with my, about a little bit about my uh, uh, former project. Uh, to understand the way I work and where I come from, in a way. So I, I start uh, as a painter first, and then I, I, I have a residence outside of Paris in the countryside, and I decide to make projects with, with uh, farmers. 
in, like I, I start to do. So I can show you a little bit. Uh, voilà. Excellent, yes, we'll see the images. This one, the, this one the, was the first one I made. It was a, a big barcode because at, at that time, you know, in 92, I made this one. Was, um, the, the, this, this, uh, the symbol for barcode was everywhere, but didn't, nobody understood what was it. So it was interesting to put it on the, on the field. So then I make a lot of projects with, uh, with, uh, with uh, food, in the kind of uh, the big production of food, of course. This one is mustard. This one is made by wheat and uh, canola. With, it's uh, behind the Saint Laurent River. You can see the behind. And I, I love the idea of the evolution of the plants. So you can see like that. And then it becomes more uh, brown. And the, the, the drawing is still uh, alive. So it's an it's a evolution of the colors, which is interesting in, in this kind of project also. So I worked with uh, wheat, for example, for this one. And uh, you can see so many differences. And the interest of this project is also the discussion before with the farmers, because you need to know the, the size of the machine you have. You need to understand the, what kind of uh, seeds you can put on the on this field, because there is a you know um, every year it's different. So it's, the discussion with the art, with the, with him is very interesting because I do a drawing uh, depending on this, this this discussion. In fact, uh, you can see this one. There is three kind of wheat, for example. And uh, on the on the right side, uh, there is a tractor uh, track, and a little bit on the left of the tra tractor, uh, there is a little hole. You can see the the, the the farmer forgot to put some seeds here, so it's nice because you can see some. Uh, it's not computer projects; it's real life, and you can see some uh, some mistakes, and I, I like it like that. Awesome. You can see the difference like that. Uh, this one, for example, it was a discussion. For, you, you, on one sketch, you, you, you used to see a line, you know, uh, vertical lines or horizontal lines always, you know. And this one with this kind of design is very uh, opposite. So it was interesting to, to do it. This one is a shadow of the big electrical uh, plot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's made with Sorgo. And this one too. And um, so many fields, um, you can see a tractor. So it's a working uh, process, of course. So it's interesting because it's not really art. It's between art and production also. So it's a bit important, this, uh, this uh, connection, I think. So voila, but, uh, different design. And then I, 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 I start to work in abandoned spaces or destroyed space like this one in Canada, in Montreal. It was a land, land file. There is 60 meters of... Uh, Garbage in, inside, 30 years of uh, garbage of people from Montreal. And you can see the sense sensor, gas, gas sensor here uh, around. You know, there is a, you can see the, some of them because they, they take off the gas uh, for the house around. And we transform, transform it like that. So it's a big transformation. So I made a, a few projects with abandoned spaces. Uh, if you are interested, you can see on, of my, on my website, but now I think it's important to speak about the Singapore project. So maybe I, I cut a little bit the um, PDF. Yeah. You can talk about or I can start with, uh, with it now, as you want. You, what you can you can uh, you can do whatever you want you can swap but let me just ask you because i it's a question that really comes immediately to mind um how easy was it to collaborate with the farmers were they happy to do these projects and to have their nice squared field all intervened beautifully like this well um, they, are, they are quite proud of their of their landscape they live in it on it they was born on it sometimes most of the time so you know it's nice to to see the, the um, um of course there is five ten percent of people where, where you know it's a disaster sometimes but every profession has five ten percent of disaster so uh, i think it's uh, people are quite happy prone i need to feel them because for example if they have animals on their farms, I need to do a, a more simple design because they have so many work every day. So, you know, it's kind of psychological discussion, but uh, it's very, very open people, of course. And Excellent. My, Excellent. My, Thank you, you so know, much. My, um, I, can, I said to them that uh, 
I do one one year and then then I, I don't come back after. So I'm not afraid to be you know with the guys who each year are doing different drawings on their on their fields. It's okay. <laughs> Um, just let me add, sorry, just a technicality for the moment. I have a couple of people who seem to not be able to see the um, live chat. Um, guys, it should be un, un, just underneath where you see um, Jean-Paul and myself at the moment. Uh, if you see a white space, just try and refresh. And also the other thing that I wanted to add, uh, our hashtag is food design live. So please tweet away anything you want and um, let's share this uh, event with other people and the more the merrier, of course. Um, yeah, Jean-Paul. So let's start Singenton project. Uh, it, it's a very special project because it's a collab collaboration. I can I show you the, the first, uh, you know, the advertising of our project, which is not really, you know, the presentation. You can see the name of the, Place engaging engaging farm, which is the place of Michael Stadtlandler. Uh, his farm on his restaurant also, and some drawings around. And um, it's a very special project because it's a it's a collaboration with uh, somebody which is very different. Uh, the way he works is different, but you have a feeling of art, an art, artist also. So it's it's easier with uh, an artist um, for me. Um, it was a, 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 a nice meeting. In fact, I met I met him you know a few years ago. Um, some friend of me uh, from Jour de la Terre, organi NGO organization, uh, Pierre Lucier, and uh, from Earth Day, uh, NGO organization from Canada, uh, t t talked to me that I need to meet, meet this guy. You know, he's living quite, quite far from uh, Toronto, and I didn't want a lot to, to go there. It was so, uh, uh, so long to go to travel to until, he, until uh, his place. One day I came there. And I understood so many things because um, the place is all is full of uh, symbol. It's, he's doing all his food. Uh, he's, he's growing all these uh, vegetables. He's living with uh, animals, and the animals he's uh, giving to his uh, uh, in his restaurant is is doing from is coming from his uh, animals. He's taking care of everything, and I think a, she a chef. It's very interesting to see somebody which is taking care of everything. It's not only at the, at the, at the cuisine, at the kitchen. It's also, you know, at the beginning when you grow up the plants, it's important to, to take care of that. And, you know, it's a kind, kind of, he's taking care of all the process, which is quite interesting, of course, for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, so I can show you a little bit. Uh, it's, it was a menu of eight, eight course, but seven, seven uh, landscape. Uh, we start on the oyster temple, and then we came. Uh, we can see the drawings on the, the, the narrow to see uh, the evolution, and um, it was uh, quite interesting because it's it's about uh, the project is about uh, it's a homage of the nature of the mother house. So e each one is about something you know tradition of food, uh, uh, farmers. It, it's, it's like symbol. I can show you. This is the place. So uh, the farm is. You can see the green roof. Uh, the, the other starting, and you can see, you know, the, the project while in all this place, you can see on the left side some drawings, and then in the wood, in the forest, we have a project. We made some project inside too. So it's it's each uh, each uh, uh, course we eat, and then we walk a little bit to go to the other one. It's a kind of you can digest a little bit. Uh, um, it's it's it's, you know, it's the project is to do. Uh, I didn't speak about that. It's funny. Uh, the project is to make a menu with uh, seven course, and each uh, mm, recipe is a, is a, um, it's a landscape, it's a design of plants. So I designed the recipe of Michael. Can, so can, the, can, well, go ahead, sorry. I'll ask you later, go ahead. Okay, so the first um, course of the menu was about the three sisters of the Indian food. They used to, the Indian uh, people were, were living there, so it's a, the kind of uh, homage of the people who are living in this place. It's um, corn, squash, and uh, beans. They used to, to grab all these three uh, vegetables together because um, the corn is doing the stick to, to grab the, the beans, and the squash is taking the, gr the ground uh, safe with the leaves they have, though there is no, no plants. Uh, uh, enemy which can come around. So they used to, to plant these three plants together. So we made that also. And the, 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 
the can see. No, so, so when you work like that, you have a lot of uh, works, of course, and you put uh, you work the hearth with people. So you you have to feed the, the with water, of course. And then uh, at the moment it's ready. We, uh, Michael and his team was doing the food live. So you have um, this beautiful uh, gr grill to to do the the food. <coughs> And then you can see them uh, preparing. And this is the, the, the first, first meal, so uh, polenta for corn and beans and squash. It's made on a barrel uh, stick because uh, it was a symbol of the, um, the defeat of the Indian because it's, it's, um, the, the whiskey barrels uh, was a big uh, thing for uh, beating and on, on, on killing Indian at, at uh, the la past time. So it's, it's about it's thinking about that. And people were eating uh, just around inside the design of the, the project, you can see here, and from the top. And then we made a, another plate, another uh, dish, which is calling f the fish plate, because I found on the internet a, a dish uh, of a fish plate, you know, like 18th century one. And I decided to make one on this place. We make a big, dry, a big um, table, they make a big table for, for the project and then grab all the, the you can see on Topinambo, I don't know the, I think it's a uh, Jerusalem artichaut, Filipinos, uh -huh. um, yeah, leeks, leeks and then uh, basil, uh, black basil, red basil, sorry, and black basil. And, uh, so you can see the people were eating in the middle of the, the, the design of the plants, you can eat, so you can smell it, you can uh, see it, you can uh, feel it, you can touch it, and we, it's, it's an incredible feeling to have this uh, combination to see, uh, you know, you have a plate and you can see what, wh where, what the, where come from the, what you are eating also. So it's kind of a very interesting uh, feeling. See the people, the people working. And you can see in the middle, there is the, the, the guys or well, the girls working. Uh, and this is a plate. And you can see each one, each plate is different. It's made by uh, by uh, Michael on a, uh, a potter with a leaf around, still the potter. Um, from the top, you can see the, the design. So it's... it's and then uh, one of these few projects was um, Michael wanted to do it, to do the drawing. So I made my recipe. This one is Macbuba field. It's coming from Tunisia. Uh, style because I'm coming from Tunisia, my origin. So it's uh, it's uh, made by tomatoes, pepper, onion, and garlic, and you make a long, long. Uh, uh, you cook a long, long, long time, and uh, he, he made the drawings. And you can see you, you, there is a table in front. You can see that people will eat alone also. So, growing up, my, and the, you see the plate. You can eat the plate too because uh, the the, the leaves are e eatable. And you can, you know, it's uh, like a uh, organic uh, plate. This one. Mm -hmm. I see the people were, were eating uh, here from the top. Now this one is about um, animals. It's a measure also of uh, if you if you feed well the animals, you're gonna have a good uh, uh, good good meat also. So it's uh, the idea of we make big circles like table. And we put some, some good uh, hearse on it. And we, we put seeds which are exactly what loves sheep. So they love it, they eat it a lot. And then we make a circle and we made, of course, we eat one, uh, we eat uh, sheep uh, there. And you can see the, the, the plate is also the same design, circle design from the top. So also we can't do a project like that without uh, thinking about the farmer, of course, which is a, the, the main, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's feeding people, of course, the, the main guy for that. So we put, we put a lot of different plants on it, potatoes, um, um, beetroots, carrots, everything, so leeks. And we put also antique um, machine machinery around, and we, we, we made table with that also. They make table, you can see. And you can see there is also a stop the mega query. You can see there is a big, at this time, in, in uh, three years ago, 
a big uh, company, American company, wanted to go just behind the, the place of Michael to, to make a, a mega car quarry, which uh, will pollute a lot of the soil, you know, and he, he fight about uh, against that. Uh, and he, he win, they abandoned the project, so, so it was uh, useful. You can see the, the dish here, yeah, the bones of the, of the, of the beef. So, animal. From the top, the big star. This one is, um, you eat with your salad. It's a big chain, like an infinite uh, symbol. And you eat um, the dench, uh, you know, there is plants and, uh, and people, which are connected. The idea of to make this um, connection between people and, and plants. And it, each time it's, it's very interesting because they, they used to, to cook, you know, live during the, the process. So it was a, a long afternoon eating and, uh, and uh, drinking, of course, also. It's a grilled cheese uh, with a salad from the top. And the last one, it was in the forest. Um, Michael took the, the maple syrup from these trees uh, in March and uh, he, he, he made these drawings, very nice drawings with a stick of woods. We put all, all the, 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 the woods, were, the trees were used for, for the maple syrup. He put that, so it was like a fairy tale uh, place. And then we make a, we make a dessert with maple syrup and peach and a, a petit gâteau with that at the end. So this one. So more or less, yes, all the team who works with hard, you know, they, they cook, but also they, they are the, the farmers also. They feed the, the plants and they were working a lot. It was impressive. impressive, impressive. And then, uh, voila. This is um, the very nice uh, experience for me, very interesting. So I can take off now. Voila. This there is you it. are. Excellent. Voila. I have so many questions. I want, just want to open up to, um, do you have anything else to show us? I can show you, you know, I have my computer here, so it's easy for me to show you more images after. Okay. We, can, we, can, we can talk and then if I need to show something, I, I will do it. It's easy. Excellent, excellent, perfect. So I want to open up questions to um, and everybody. And guys, if you're not seeing the chat room, just remember to refresh, and you should be able to see the chat room just underneath the mirror <laughs> where you see Jean Paul uh, right now. Um, so let us know where you come from, and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, if you can't figure out this chat thing, which I I, th I see there are a couple of people. We're not sure. Just write to me on Facebook. Write to me wherever you want, and we'll able we'll be able to uh, get questions. Or or on YouTube, just use use the hashtag um, Food Design Live, which is our ch hashtag. And right, okay. While we wait for, I'm just gonna check you uh, Twitter just in case. Um, while we wait for various questions, uh, I have a few already. Uh, while you were talking, just um, just maybe. Um, a clarification maybe uh, for myself if not for anybody else uh, the I was interesting um, you show the uh, you show the, um, ex the, the the part of the the meal uh, where people eat alone in tiny tables are there are there tables or tiny chairs uh, tiny tiny tables with um, made by uh, um, stone a stone table okay. and the chair was um, was a wood a piece of wood Oh, excellent. So what is the connection between wanting people to eat alone with a particular dish and the concept of the dish itself? Well, well we try to think uh, what kind of, uh, each one was a different experience. So one of them was unique, like the fish plate, unique, everybody was together. And sometimes it's interesting to have, you know, the, your own table. Um, most of the people were coming with friends, so they used to be in groups. So, the, in this in this uh, plate with the Maguba one, which was mine, mine uh, like a, as a chef, uh, it, it was you know alone uh, to see it. You know, it was like uh, seeing a piece of art, kind of you know, <clears throat> interesting. Oh, and on the on the other one, you know, the salad bar, for example, you eat together with the plants, so you have you are connected with uh, the, the the you know the thing you are eating. 
that is that i find just a spectacular just a spectacular concept i really love it uh you described it as an in infinite salad i think <laughs> and that is just beautiful beautiful um well i love it i think this project is just just beautiful um the one of the questions that i have maybe um one of the questions that i was thinking of since the beginning um since when you started explaining <clears throat> What came first, the, I, uh, the, the concept um, of the dish or the concept of the garden? So did the recipe of the dish follow the ingredients, the plants that were planted in that specific garden, or was it the other way around? We start with, I, st I start with the concept, I think. Uh, you know, the, uh, like a, the fish plate, I wanted to make something you know, like a, being a gigantic fish uh, plate, you know, or uh, the one, the, the infinite plate, the idea of making a connection with plants and human together, and also the, the animal one, which is a sheep plate, which is quite cruel, you know, in a way, because people who are vegetarian will think uh, it's horrible, I can understand, of course, because I'm meat, we can't be a meat vegetarian, but I don't eat a lot of meat, but this one, I think, at least I uh, uh, eat meat, so you know it's important to see that the animals are feeding well. And uh, uh, you know, you have the, we, we put tables with very good food for them, so they, are, they have a nice, happy life, like a normal sheep, you know, like a nice life with big spaces. So you know, it's kind of uh, each one it was a, a reflection about uh, our food because, of course, meat we, we see it on, on the supermarket, like cutting a little piece, and we don't think of the animal. If you are able to eat uh, meat, sing any, the animal, so you you can uh, eat meat, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, what about the collaboration between between you two? Um, where, how, how did you decide to collaborate on something like that? I've been there, so uh, to the Egazing Farm, the place of Michael. One day, he invite me, and the, the, he show me all uh, the, the, the his land. And I think he's a kind of king of the place. He's, he's, he's doing so many play things inside the, the, his land. He's working, it's a huge space, huh? forest, there is forest, bigger fields and everything. And uh, he put so many sculptures around. He put some woods uh, installations around. And he's doing, he's taking care of all the landscape of his place. So we, I have a, logically a big connection with this kind of person, you know. I'm doing that in my way, and I was very interesting by his way because uh, you know there is not many so many people who are able to do so many things like that in his land, and it's also a chef and also a farmer. It's also so many things. So I was impressed by the person, um, and I I I, I uh, quickly feel uh, the uh, you have a artist feeling, mm -hmm. very strong. So it was easy, and we discussed a little bit, but we need to trust each other to make this kind of drawings on this kind of project. But of course, I think he is more important because he's doing, he was feeding the plant, he was working on the ground, you know, really, I was not always there. And uh, he, he made the dishes after, so, you know. I think, he, I think you're touching on a very important concept, trust. Uh, we see in design and therefore in food design, the collaboration is nowadays essential. And you collaborate with people that have different skills and different, uh, different or similar mindsets, exactly as you have done now. And as mm. you said, I think trust is very important. You do your part, you trust the other person to do his, and you just trust not only each other, but you trust the design concept that you have that it's good and that it's going to work. So I think this um, is a very important aspect. But you as an artist, um, how did you find it? How did you find collaborating with a chef? Did you find you, you, you both have very different, uh, a very different background. Um, you probably work in different ways. You, you work with different materials, let's say. But how did you find um, your approach uh, design approach, if I may say so, or art approach, call it whatever you want, and his approach. Do you find uh, the art perspective and the culinary arts perspective having more uh, similarity, similarities or more um, things that are really different from one another? 
Well, I, uh, this part of culinary was for me very interesting because I understood one thing when I saw him. So when I make my project on the field, I show you, I stop at the crop of the project and then there is not the, the evolution of the product after, you know, there is the design of the field and then there is a crop and nothing's happened. And with this project, we start with the seeds put on the ground, growing up the plants and we finish with the taste in the mouth, you know, and this is a full project because you have uh, with him and, he, and me, we have the, all the, the process uh, of um, of um, uh, of the um, of this kind of uh, things, you know, it's a full it's a full process. You have the, we start with the seeds, we have the drawings, the feelings of the drawings, and then you can you can eat the result of the drawing. So, for me, it was more this kind of uh, feeling. Uh, I was totally trusting his uh, way of uh, doing food. Of course, I he, he's very he's a grand, grand chef. It's a very good, you have the knowledge and everything, and he, you know he, he's a passionate on that. You know. I follow sometimes. Uh, I follow him sometimes on the forest at six in the morning to to take to to eat to to try to test uh, mushrooms or some uh, some uh, herbs to see what he's gonna do. Uh, you know, I feel this this guy. You know, I uh, had a good feeling with him, so I trust this, this way. And he was trusting me also, doing you know my drawings. He never told me no. This one is not okay. I can't do that. Or you know, it was kind of a very relaxed uh, collaboration. It's not easy, I think. To have a collab somebody, you know, need to have, to have the same uh, feeling, same soul, more or less, with the, the, the person you do a collaboration. I'm not, uh, you know, but I like it. I really like uh, trying to do collaboration. Definitely. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm looking, this was another question that I wanted to ask you. Um, what about the feeding of the, how many people actually did you feed? Uh, I think it's Overall. 600, like, like 30, uh -huh, 40, 40, 40 persons every day during uh, like six, five, six weeks. But I was not, I was not there all times because, you know, uh, I, I can, you know, eat every day with so much, so good food, but, you know, you need to work and earn money. So I was not all time there. I've been there, you know, three, four times. It was amazing. Uh, the, it was very interesting. The first the opening, it was very interesting because um, during two months, it didn't rain. It was very dry, dry, dry. Mm -hmm. And I came on it rain. The day the opening was so rainy. And it was a, a, a very, um, uh, I will never forget uh, the, 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 the image I had this, this day because it was so, such a strong weather, so, such a strong image of the landscape like that. Of course, it was uh, uh, you know, a bit stress for us to have the first day like a raining day, but we have so many good, uh, it was su such, a, such a good experience. And at the end, of course, it was sunny, a sunny day, of course. It was raining at the beginning and then very sunny at the end. So I was thinking in connection to these 600 people who ate this food, um, this should, this was, was this the first time that the result of an art installation, should we call it installation or performance of yours, was actually eaten by people, right? Yes, totally. I was thinking... Or at least directly. This idea was came when I saw the place of Michael, Egging Farm. Mm -hmm. It was a, you know, like an evidence to, to make this uh, collaboration. But before that, I didn't think of it, of course. Right. So how did you feel, uh, from your perspective, how did you feel um, about the fact that people actually ate your, or, or, or maybe the result of your direct art, uh, art, process and art project um how did you feel um about the fact that that is probably the fact that ingesting of the food created a much stronger connection between what you did and people exactly i think i think I, I, for first it's ephemeral project it's a eating it's a, of course it's becoming ephemeral the the process it's all the experience, and my, my project before and after and all time are ephemeral. So I like the idea of uh, 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 growing up, you know, on the movie, moving different colors, having, having different colors, and then uh, disappear. The experience stay, you know, in, in, in the mind, and you're eating, it's, it's uh, one step more, because you, you have the, the, the feeling of the thing, but what you see, but also you, 
you have the the taste of the of the design. No, it's quite a, quite special, uh, quite a special uh, idea, I think. Right. We will try and to do it uh, another uh, later. I will try to do it in another way in another country, maybe in Brazil. We are trying to I, to, to start something there about in the same uh, way. Exciting, exciting that you're already working on something else. Um, I wanted to ask you, how did you end up, uh, or how did you choose to work with plants, which at the end of the day are a living being, uh, as part of your creative process? Well, I start like as a painter, so like a normal artist, as we say. You know, and, and when I start to work with plants, I was impressed by the, how the public uh, react. Because it's not anymore uh, the people who love art, who, who are interested by uh, uh, this kind of project, it's everybody. You can uh, know that the uh, people from the countryside with our grandmother love plants, uh, kids love plants. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's, uh, I think it's a very strong, uh, powerful media, media, in fact, the plants. And so the, and I think it's colors. It's very interesting because uh, for, uh, you can do so many things uh, in, uh, in the same uh, feeling like as a painter, but you, you're going to have an evolution of the colors after that. that. And how was it switching from any plant to plant that actually produce an edible uh, substance? So plant that make food. Well, I, I start uh, with uh, f farmers who, d who do food in a big way, in a big uh, production. So uh, when I start in '92, I was more in the the idea of uh, production. I was impressed by the design they made, the farmers, the size of the f of the of the fields, and I was not in the environmental. Uh, spirit already, organic spirit. I was far from that. I uh, learned a lot during these years to understand that, of course. And then I changed my, my focus about things more smaller, about with uh, uh, like the project of Michael. Uh, and I think it's kind of um, a very uh, rich um, medium. Uh, yeah. But I I totally, totally agree. Uh, we have a wonderful question from Evelyn that I want to ask you, Jean-Paul. Mm -hmm. A question to Jean-Paul. Uh, have, have people interacted with your artwork in ways that have surprised you? Uh, yes, of course. Some, some, some people speak about my, my project and, and then I keep the, the idea of, from them, you know, and when I speak about my project, I have the, the, you know, I, I feed, I take the, the ideas of the people and say, yeah, sure, sure. And uh, sometimes, you know, people who's, who live uh, near the field, for example, you know, the, the one with wheat, different wheat, I, I show you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. People told me that how they, when they stay in the morning with the, with the ice in the, in, the, in the winter, they saw so many things I didn't see, you know. So I really like um, uh, I, to have the feedback of the people who live around the project because I, so most of the time I see them, you know, a few times during the season, but this you can see every day. And this is for these people also. You know, it's like a, you have on the windows, like a, a piece of art in the window during a, evolu evoluted, you know, during one year. So, you know, I, I love to have um, to, the interaction with this, uh, the people who are living around. Uh, uh, that's great, and I think that the means that you chose, uh, plants and food plants, are probably one of the best vehicles to achieve that. Uh, I would just wanted to ask you a question, maybe uh, a bit more general now. I know you come from an art background, but I'm sure you have heard the word design before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, and, and, and I'm sure that you also know um, uh, that the, the, the definition of art and design and the difference between art and design, it's not clear. Maybe it shouldn't be, uh, but there are definitely differences as well as similarities. Having said that, uh, and, and so re remembering that you come from an art perspective, from an art background, and you probably have a more artistic uh, perspective. Uh, how would you define the word, the term food design? Good question. Uh, I think uh, first, uh, you're right, there is, um, you know, there is a big connection between, uh, and it's hard to, to have the definition between uh, design and art. There is some difference, but you know, it's not really uh, uh, clear. And it's nice like that, I think. 
But you know, I, I, when I work, I used to have um, people who are saying I'm not doing art because I'm doing landscape architect uh, project. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know, I understand, you know, the difference between, I'm, I'm okay when they say that, just I don't have the, the, the graduation of a landscape architect, so that, I don't have the knowledge. So, you know, it's kind of okay, that's nice if you think that, but I'm not sure because first I don't have the, <laughs> the paper, the official paper about, uh, of that. And uh, I think it's a uh, food design, it's a new, new kind of world now, it's like, like uh, 10 years, and I saw that since a few years, you know, but it's mm -hmm. not so, so, uh, so, um, it's not a long, long uh, st story for the moment. Yes. I'm sure it's like a lot of uh, uh, things which is around heart. Uh, it's growing up a lot because uh, people uh, use design, need design every time. So it's kind of things uh, which is growing up, like uh, the um, you know, the, uh, fashion uh, design also. It's kind of uh, near the art. There is a lot of things around. And chef too. Chef are, you know, it's, it's between art and the, uh, uh, on the Cooking is it's very near. The, the people who are, the, Michael, for example, so, you know, the feeling you have when you see the, the dish, the, it's the experience. You can, you know, it's not so far from art uh, feeling. Mm, absolutely, I, I agree. What, um, another question on the same lines, more or less. Um, what is, uh, what are maybe uh, the most interesting things that you know about that are happening in the world between art and food? I don't want to say in the world of food art, because if you say food art, we go, sometimes this term is defined in ways that are kind of uh, annoying to me, like, you know, the carved uh, watermelon. I don't like, I don't think that's really food art. So let's say just, what, uh, let's call it the world between food and art. What are the most interesting things that you um, perceive are happen happening at the moment? So I saw a few things now because I'm, uh, but I think Michael was a big, uh, big, uh, a big thing for me because uh, um, I was really impressed by the, the idea of uh, doing all by his, himself. And also he was, he transformed his land like a, a piece of art. So, you know, it's like a crazy, crazy uh, connection. It's not more, it's not anymore just eating the things. It's all, I have the, the, the impression going to the forest, going to, and you see all these things he's doing there. So it's more than uh, cooking just. So it, it was the first big experience I had. Now I saw some, so, so a few things uh, in Berlin with uh, Taina, which is a good friend, Taina Gels, who have a, a gallery, Entretempo Gallery, which is doing very nice things in Berlin. So. And he, she is doing a festival of uh, Berlin Food Art Week, and uh, she I saw very interesting things uh, like uh, uh, cadaver ski. I don't know the name in English. You know the, the things uh, people are, are uh, you write you write um, you see the you know, the, the experience was was this one. Uh, I don't remember the name of the chef, but he was he was uh, there was some some food on the table, and you choose one uh, one things on. You, you write on the paper the things you choose and the way you cook it. And then you, you close the paper and the, another person is doing another, choosing another product and another way to cook it. And then the chef is doing the recipe like that. And it was like this kind of experience, I think very funny and very uh, open mind uh, for me to, to, to feel, you know, uh, uh, go, going far between art and food. Definitely. That's interesting because this example that you're giving um, talks about both collaboration between the user, the normal person who is just, you know, participating and the designer slash artist slash chef himself. And, uh, and that in that sense, the interaction between these people. And I think that's uh, definitely one of the key aspects of interesting uh, food design examples that are done today. Um, mm -hmm. Your project, the Singhamton project, uh, whether you did it uh, explicitly uh, or talks about, does talk about uh, sustainability and zero miles and going back to the land and appreciating uh, 
the products that we know that where they come from. So having said this, and 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 I, I say this because I'm kind of biased towards the type of answer that you could give. Uh, my answer, my question is, um, what do you think is the future of food? How today, what do you think the future of food will be, and maybe should be? Well, it's a uh, first thing. Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, um, it's a, it's an invitation to the people to, to to you know in the balcony on your little garden you can grow food. I'm doing I'm growing food here in Paris around uh, just behind the, the the windows here, and uh, trying to do not like Michael uh, incredible food, but you can do your own food with your own uh, garden. In a little like a balcony, you can do something. I think so. You know, it's a uh, and the future is like a. There is a big force fighting between, uh, you know, like uh, uh, the big companies and uh, the, the some some free and organic uh, spirit. Uh, you know, it's there is a big fighting. I'm, uh, I try to change. You know, I start like uh, you know my generation. We start eating a lot of shit. With mm -hmm. our, uh, you can say that. You know, you can say yeah, that. Yeah. We, 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 the evolution of our generation is to say, oh wow. We, we take so many when we're, we're 20, 30, so we need to, to take care maybe more. And we make maybe a mistake to go in this direction. Not me, but you know, our generation, my generation. So I hope that uh, it's changing, but uh, it's, it's going to be long. And, but I see so many good uh, things around me or in Canada, in Montreal. So, so many uh, little garden doing people doing their own uh, uh, vegetables. And also in Paris, there's, there's a new, polit new politics in the city which has you know, led people doing uh, everywhere, gardening, uh, for doing foods everywhere. It's, it's kind of, uh, they are open, they have, uh, the, I don't know the size of that, you know? Uh, yeah. It's going, going up, growing up, I think. Definitely. Okay. Um, I feel like we are, uh, we should be almost about to kind of start to close in. Um, I, just have one last question. If anybody has any question, guys, let me know. Uh, I'm noticing that the chat room seems to be a bit difficult for some people. I apologize for that. I will find another solution for the next one, but let's hang in there and just use Facebook or Twitter or anything else if you have questions. Um, the, the last question that I'd like to ask you, and this is really for all the people who are about to approach the world of food design and why not food art from whatever perspective you want to take it at the end of the day we are all with any projects we do we are all trying to um, make the world a little bit of a better place or just uh, make a new make a beautiful things for people create some interaction create some beautiful moments uh, so for all these people jean paul uh, what is your advice for people who are interested in starting a career in food design slash food art? I think for like every artist, you know, there is one thing, so following your, what you're thinking, since the beginning, never, never give up, starting, you have, I think, I don't know, for example, I did not make any school uh, of art, so I start like a painter, like a, I have my own direction since the beginning. Uh, I don't know if it's a good one. I don't know, but I'm, I, you know, I follow the, the the track, my track, and I think it's easy to be an, an artist. Who, it's the, the I think the most, the biggest difficulties for an artist is to following his track. In fact, so follow your track, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jean-Paul. Um, do you. you have anything else that you want to add, that you want to tell people, any last message, whatever well, you want to say? No, I think I can, I can show you on the, on the I can share the, the last image, which is uh, yes. the, the, web, it's, uh, the website of uh, Michael. And, oh, yes, uh, please. I was about to forget. I yes, yes. I, I, I put it on the last page, so I go, you can see my, the, my, the, the PDF now? Uh, no. Did you do the screen share with the green button? Uh, yes, I put it on the, yeah, yes. Is it on the, ah, no, I forget this one. Yes, voilà. Partager, sorry. There you so go, this is yeah. A, yeah, this is my, uh, the Statlander, ingazingfarm.com, and the name Michael Statlander, which is a chef, uh, incredible chef um, in Canada, in Ontario, yeah. and my website just uh, below.
Wonderful. You know. Thank you so much. And I think these links uh, are also in the web page where people are watching okay. the, the webinar. I think, the, I don't, I'm not sure about the first one, but I think so. Uh, we'll double check with that and I, and I can put them there also. Okay. Um, nice. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to ask you, uh, let's remind people that of this brilliant project, a documentary has been filmed. Mm -hmm. Where Sounds can people good. go to see the documentary and when can they see it? Well, it's, there is a website, um, singletonproject.com, um, of, the, of the movie. We can see the trailer on the, the dishes, uh, exactly what they, they have on each, each, uh, each plate, you know. But um, he's doing a lot of festivals. So he made the, fest you can see, he made the mm -hmm. Berlin Food International Film Festival, Food Seoul Festival in Mountain. So he's still in the festival. I hope he will put it on the internet after, but I don't know, it's not mine. It is, it's uh, the <laughs> production of a different production, Canadian production. But uh -huh. I hope, uh, you know, normally a film, a movie is starting like festival and then it, they sell it to the TVs and then you put it on, on the internet. I hope it will come. Brilliant, brilliant. So we'll just keep in touch on your website, on your Facebook nice. page. I will put it. And sign up and, and find out. Uh, excellent. So uh, thank you very much, Jean-Paul. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye -bye. It was it was brilliant. I loved every second of it. And uh, thank you all of you. Thank all of you who have followed us live. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you, having you here. Um, I'll wait. I'll, I can. Um, I'm looking forward to see you at the next food design webinar, which is going to be on October 20, uh, with food designer um, from Into the Food from Italy. Um, and that's it. Uh, I hope you guys had, guys had fun. Um, that's it. Thank you again, Jean Paul. It's been a pleasure. And uh, bye bye, everyone. Um, have a nice day and happy food design. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.